Hey everyone, and welcome to the Trained by Tradewind show. I'm Coach Andy. I'm Coach Meredith. And today what we want to talk about are habits and routines. Specifically, how habits and routines can help you build a healthier lifestyle so that you can really accomplish pretty much anything that you really want to in life. So, yeah, uh, yeah it's kind of important. So stay <laughs> tuned, hang in there. Let's jam on this, let's do this. All right, so habits and routines. I think the, the biggest thing, right, is, so I know, we know, right, as coaches, that building habits and building a routine is one of the best things to help you succeed in pretty much anything that you do. Yeah. And honestly, in my opinion, it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of like a secret weapon, mm -hmm. right? Like if I can build something into a habit, into a routine, it's kind of like there's nothing that could stop me from accomplishing it. So let's kind of get this out of the way first. Why do you think it's so difficult for people to establish a new habit or establish a new routine? I think it's because bad habits are so easy to do, mm. but really hard like eating to break. Donuts. Like eating donuts. Bad habit. <laughs> um, and like, especially or like, um, and I'm thinking like eating when you're like really hungry, like, you know, when you get really hungry, when yep. you come home All the and time. you're just like, I just have to eat. So the first thing we go to is, um, the, the pizza, the fastest thing, the yeah. cereal, the, um, the I, hot pockets, the hot pockets. Uh, <laughs> the I microwave go, it. My, my big thing is like, uh, those soft pretzels. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I will like boom in there. Um, By the way, you should talk to, to the doctor. He made soft pretzels last weekend. Yes. Oh, wow. Maybe uh, he might have some leftover. You can bring you. Okay. Some. I love self. -practice. I know. Um, so. Yeah. So, and then the hardest, but why that's so easy is we think it's so fast and it takes no time at all. Um, so it becomes a bad habit because we do it so much. But then like we somehow think building a salad is longer or takes more effort. Yep. Um, and that's just really hard to do. Uh, so bad habits are like super easy to continue, really hard to break. And I think that's why habits are really hard to like develop. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that makes perfect sense, right? That here's the thing, habits are built and, and they build up over time. Mm -hmm. And most people, let's be honest, are creatures of habit, Yeah. right? We, we all kind of pretty much do the same thing day in and day out. Uh, most people aren't very spontaneous mm -hmm. and really don't live life by the seat of their pants as much as people like to say they do. Yeah. Honestly, most people don't. Very and so, right. And so these, <laughs> very predictable. And so these habits that people have, have built have been built over years and years and years. And I think that's actually one of the reasons why a lot of people struggled when COVID first kind of hit because everyone's routine was like just turned upside down. And all of a sudden you're like, I don't have to go to work. I don't have a 20, 30, 40 hour long commute anymore. I don't have to make my lunch. Like I am at home all day long. My, my whole routine is different. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people struggled with, with COVID when it first hit, and especially that quarantine phase. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we're still struggling because a lot of people still haven't developed new habits, right? right? It hasn't been long enough to develop new habits. Not only that, but people are kind of like, why would I develop a new habit now when that habit might change again mm -hmm. once everyone becomes vaccinated or you know the vaccines hit critical mass or whatever yeah. it may be considered. Um, I think that's why a lot of people are still struggling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, COVID burnout is like a real thing. Yeah. But anyway, back to what we were talking about, sidetrack, <laughs> um, of habits and, and routines. <sighs> Healthy habits are so important. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing that people really struggle with is developing a new habit takes time and it takes work. Yeah. And I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, on top of bad habits, the ones we've already developed, mm -hmm. they become easy, right? They become yeah. second nature. But now where we're at, it's kind of like, well, in order for me to develop a new habit, it takes time, it takes effort. And I don't know if I have that kind of effort or time to put in. Right. 
Um, to which I would say to anybody, listen, if this is really what you want to do, then developing a habit is the best way to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, it's going to take work at first. Any habit that you've developed over time takes work at first. The habits that you have now weren't, weren't ingrained at first. They developed over time. Right. Um, and so if it's something that you really want, putting in the time and effort mm -hmm. is really going to help. So let's talk about some habits um, or some routines. Like what, what are some habits or routines that you, may, that you have? So recently, especially after coming out of quarantine um, and now having to wake up to go to work and waking and I get to wake up to actually go to the gym. So um, my whole waking up routine is completely different now. Um, so with that, anytime my alarm goes off, I my habit that I am trying to continue to do, sometimes I don't, um, is I will snooze it and actually rise out of bed. So go. I won't snooze it lying down because mm -hmm. anytime I do that, it's just like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> like, you fall oh, back asleep. Like four minutes later. Yep. So I have to actually come up out of bed, snooze it, get like make the motions. Like yep. when my body starts moving more than I'm starting to get awake. So those 5.30 classes, like uh, alarm gets up, alarm starts at 4 a.m. I'm like up, oh, I have to start moving because there have been times where it's like 4 a.m. hits, I like lay down and like somehow I go right to Instagram and be like, oh, like the light will wake me up. But I'm also <laughs> lying down yep. and then it's just like, man, five more minutes. So yeah, that's one routine that I have to do in the morning. Awesome. And so I think you touched on something super important, right? You said a routine that I am trying to build and I'm, I don't always do it, but I'm trying to build it. And I think this is another big kind of hurdle that a lot of people struggle with, mm -hmm. right? They're like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym every day. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden they miss a day. Yeah. And then all of a sudden that day becomes two days and then two days becomes three days and then three days becomes a week and a week becomes a month. And then all of a sudden you haven't been to the gym in a year. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So is it okay to not always do it? Absolutely. I think you definitely have to give yourself grace. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that a lot of people struggle with. When they're, when they're like, I'm going to build a new habit. Mm -hmm. I, I have to be a hundred percent all in all the time. That's not how life works. Right. Like, for those of you that are watching this, like if you take nothing else away from this episode today, take away the fact that it's okay to stumble when you're building a new habit or a new routine. Mm -hmm. It's not about being 100% all the time. Like you're going to miss a day or you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. The thing that changes, and here's where the people that really succeed, when they miss a day, when they fail, they don't stop. Mm -hmm. Right? So like when you miss a day and like you don't snooze and get out of bed, right? Maybe you do keep lying down, maybe you pull up Instagram or whatever it may yeah. be. Technically the habit has failed. Right. Does that mean that the next day you don't do it again? No. No, okay. it means it, it, <laughs> it, it, it means you try yeah. to you get back trying. on the horse. Yeah. And that's what really helps build that habit, right? Yeah. It, it's about consistently doing it over time, no matter how many times you fail, right. no matter how many times you mess up. And another thing is, and so I'm experiencing this right now, mm -hmm. right? So I, um, one of the things that I try to do, right? So I, I love sleeping. Mm -hmm. Sleeping is very <laughs> important to me. Um, I love napping, just, just sleep in general. Anytime I get to close my eyes, it's wonderful for me. <laughs> And so I've been trying to have better, what's called sleep hygiene, right? Or basically like get better sleep each night. Um, it's one of the reasons why I got the whoop so that I could track that a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, it's, it, it's really sometimes a slap in the face. Like this morning when I woke up and it was like your recovery, recovery was 34%. And I'm like, oh God. But anyway, um, so one of the things that I try to do is one of the reasons people don't fall asleep is blue light, mm -hmm. right? We hear this all the time. Don't watch a TV, don't look at a phone, you know, half an hour before bed, uh, electronic devices produce blue light. Blue light stimulates our body into producing cortisol, uh, which basically helps wake us up, right? So little fun fact for those of you out there in the YouTube world watching this or listening to this on a podcast, when the sun rises in the morning, it produces blue light 
which is what helps wake you up because it signals your body to produce cortisol, which then basically works like adrenaline, wakes you up, yeah. in case you were curious. <laughs> um, a setting sun produces orange or yellow light, which signals our body to start producing melatonin, which is what helps us fall asleep. For those of you that can't fall asleep and you take over the, like, over the counter melatonin, it's literally because you're not producing enough of it. Probably because your body, right? Exactly. <laughs> and one of the things may be because you're constantly looking at a device yeah. and that's producing blue light, so it's not signaling your body to start producing it on its own. Yeah. So, um, now that you have that science fact out of the way, right? Just nerd it out for a second. Um, one of the things that I try to do is I try to, at least like an hour before bed, mm -hmm. like I may watch TV, but I put my phone in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I just put the phone down, like face down on the coffee table in front of me or have it plugged in in the same room. Like it is in another room plugged in, like out of sight, out of mind. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm failing at that. <laughs> I am, I'm just, we've got a lot going on and so I'm constantly checking my phone and so I'm failing at it, right? Like I will literally have my phone in my hand till it either dies or I'm, I'm literally laying in bed. <laughs> yeah. Which is terrible, like that's not, I don't, I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. So one of my habits is to get better sleep hygiene, one of the routines I'm trying to do. So one of my habits I'm trying to build is plug in my phone like an hour before bed. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm failing at it. <laughs> that doesn't mean though that I can never do it again, right? It's not like all of a sudden, oh God, I'm never gonna have good sleep hygiene. Yeah. It just means right now I'm not building my habit. And so now what I need to do is I need to get better at it. I need to get back on the horse. I need to plug my phone in an hour before bed in another room and not worry about it. Yeah. Um, so just because you fall off the wagon, whether it's for a day, a week, a month, that doesn't mean that you can't simply pick it back up and start all over again. And look at it this way. It's not like you're starting from scratch, right? You built up that habit a little bit. And yes, you may have taken a couple steps backwards, but if you took five steps forward to begin with, you've now taken three steps backwards, you're still two steps ahead of where you were before. And so when you get back into that habit, you now only have to go another three steps to get back to where you were instead of a whole five steps again. It's the same thing when people fall out of fitness. Right. Right? We say it all the time. And people say this all the time. They're like, God, I haven't worked out in three years. It, I lost everything and you're like, you didn't lose everything. Right. Like that's not yeah. how this works. Yeah. Yes, you've taken some steps backwards. Yes, you've regressed a little bit, but it's not like you've returned to like an infant where you like can't walk and you don't remember how to walk. Exactly. Right? Look at riding a bike, mm -hmm. right? I remember when I was a kid, as not, riding a bike is, it's, it, it's a skill that you can learn. It's a habit that you can build. Riding a bike, learning how to ride a bike is no different than learning how to build a habit. Mm -hmm. When you first learn how to ride a bike, it's hard. You fall down. You do not succeed at first, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, if you continually try and you don't give up, you continue to build that habit or build that ability to ride the skill to ride a bicycle, and then all of a sudden you're riding a bike. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden it becomes easy. Mm -hmm. And then you turn like, 16 and it's no longer cool to ride a bike, <laughs> right? Because you can now drive. Yeah. And then, so most of us don't ride bikes right. as we become older and we kind of lose that skill. Right. Um, but that doesn't mean that like all of a sudden you regress to like not knowing how to ride a bike. Right. You hop back on a bicycle, it takes a couple tries yeah. to get back in the habit to build that skill back up. Right. But it's not like you've, you gotta relearn all over again. Exactly. And habit building is almost, to me, it sounds like a direct correlation. Yeah, I believe that too. Which is really awesome because I just made that connection right now. So all of you listening to this, <laughs> you just watched the magic happen. Oh yeah. That just happened. <laughs> so if nothing else, understand that building a habit, building a routine is just like riding a bike. Yeah. It's hard at first, you're going to fail. But as long as you don't give up, eventually it becomes easy. And even if you fall out of that habit, that doesn't mean you have to start all over from the beginning. It is a skill that you have built and it is something that you will pick back up relatively right. quickly. Yeah. Um, and I mean, there's a ton that we can go into with habit building and things like that, like tricks and tips on how to build better habits and better routines. But I think we should probably save that just for another episode yeah, down the road. Really cool. I don't want this to take too, too long. Yeah. 
Um, was there anything else you wanted to talk about as far as habits or routines are concerned? Well, I think going back to like the uh, understanding that we are going to fail and understanding that failure is an opportunity to reflect mm. instead of a like moment to regret everything. Yeah. So with like failing at eating healthy, right? So let's say like, well, last night I actually had like four pieces of pizza. So like I was like super hungry and that's yep. the first thing I saw and I was like, screw it, I'm so hungry. Uh, so I had like four pieces of pizza. Um, obviously in like my standard um, of eating, I would say that I failed um, to prepare myself well to not be hungry again at home which is a habit that I'm trying to right. have, which is like eating before I drive because I normally get hungry after. Um, but so understanding that like that was a failure, but I was also able to say, okay, well next time this is what I have to do. I right. got to plan out better. So now I'm already, my mind is already playing that um, like role playing to think of the future mm -hmm. and preparing. So instead of saying, well, I just regret that and I'm an awful person and I'm blah, blah, blah and all of this and like really beating myself down, it's more of an opportunity to reflect and plan. So that's what I think about with like any type of failure. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a great, great uh, concept to think about, right? Is when we do fail, it doesn't mean that we're terrible people, mm -hmm. we're awful, we're idiots. Like that's not how this works. It's like, hey, you made a mistake. Yeah. Learn from that mistake. How can you make sure that that mistake doesn't happen again? Mm -hmm and fix it, yeah. right? Same thing, right? Going back to the riding a bike analogy, when you fall off a bike for the first time, you're not like, that's it, I'm a terrible <laughs> human being, I should not be around, like I, yeah. I am a waste of space. You're like, no, I messed up, I didn't balance right, or I right. didn't kick hard enough, or whatever it may be. Yeah. Get up, try it again, Absolutely. fix it. Same exact idea when we fail at pretty much anything, especially habit building and routines. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you pulled something out of that ramble mess that we just went through. But uh, <laughs> great, some, some great analogies in today's video and definitely a lot on uh, just don't beat yourself up when you fail, right? Like if you fall down, it's okay. Pick yourself back up. Understand why you fell. Try not to make sure you do it again. It's that simple. Oh. Well, I wish it was that simple, but you get the point. Thanks so much for watching uh, or listening uh, if this is on a podcast. And uh, thank you so much, and we'll catch you next week. See you later.